Well, in 2003, the National Institutes of Health gave my research team a grant to test this. We tested a plant-based diet versus a conventional diabetes diet. And a conventional diet, you, you know what I'm talking about, uh, cut calories to try to lose weight, keep carbohydrates steady, don't eat too much bad fat. That's a conventional diet approach. But the new approach that we were testing was a plant-based diet, meaning it was vegan, no animal products. We kept oils really, really low. So it was not a lot of greasy French fries and, and, and uh, oily salad dressings and that kind of thing. And we used low glycemic index foods. Uh, don't get hung up on the te uh, technology or terminology here. Uh, a high glycemic index food is something like white bread. It causes your blood sugar to rise pretty quickly. That's high glycemic index. Rye bread is more gentle on your blood sugar. It doesn't rise as steeply. Pumpernickel, even more so. So we're just choosing the lower glycemic index foods. It's not low carbohydrate. In fact, there's plenty of healthy carbohydrate in this diet but it's vegan, it's uh, minimal oil, and uh, the foods that we're choosing are healthy foods. And the test that we use when we're tracking how diabetes is doing is called hemoglobin A1C. You might be familiar with it. It's a sign of blood sugar control. And if you have diabetes, you want it below about seven. Well, our research participants were about eight or so to start. The red line here is the people on the conventional diet. They improved, they dropped about 0.4 absolute percentage points, that's good. But the vegans, that's the blue line, dropped three times more and that made medical history. And let me put a human face on this. This is Vance. Vance was a policeman and then he worked in a bank and he joined our study and he told us about diabetes in his family. He said he knew all about it. He said to him it meant I could lose my vision, I could lose a leg. Vance's father was dead by age 30. Vance was 31 when he was diagnosed with diabetes. But he began the plant-based diet, the vegan diet. And he said, you know, this is really simple. And I thought, simple? People think of a vegan diet as being kind of a challenge. No, no, no. He said, a typical diabetes diet means you cut calories, so you go to bed hungry every day. You have to count carbohydrate grams, and that's kind of tedious. But a vegan diet just meant Instead of meat chili, you have the bean chili, or instead of a meat sauce on your spaghetti, you have the tomato sauce, or you know, with the grilled vegetables on the side and a healthy salad, it's, it's not tough, it's easy to do. And over a year, he lost 60 pounds. His doctor stopped his medication. And when we got his hemoglobin A1C result, it had dropped from 9.5 at the beginning of the study to 5.3 which happens to be an absolutely normal lab value. Let me tell you what this really means. When I was in medical school, George Washington University, uh, I was taught as pretty much every doctor in training was taught that diabetes is something you're gonna live with. It's a one-way street. You got it, you're gonna die with it. Wait a minute. Here is a man who had had diabetes for years. In fact, he was not in very good control but he had done something that got him off his medications and got his A1C so low that it wasn't even the pre-diabetes range. It was in the totally normal range. He could go in any clinic in the world and no one would ever know he had ever had type two diabetes. Don't get me wrong. Diabetes can wait around the corner. There's Velveeta over there. There's chicken wings over there. And if you dip back into those things, your diabetes can come back. But the point is this. Diabetes is a two-way street. If you got it, you can improve it and sometimes get rid of it. Okay, so a healthy diet is grains, vegetables, legumes, that's beans and peas and lentils, and also fruits. Those are the four healthy food groups. And if you put them together, that's a healthy diet against diabetes.